AI, and mixing. I've been seeing some pretty crazy stuff. Will the robots take our job? So if we haven't met, I'm Jordan with My Audio Academy, and today we're gonna see if these new AI tools will take me from a total skeptic to an actual believer, specifically using the Wave Studio Verse. Let's go ahead and dive in and see if I'll still have a job next year. Let's play the track and see where we're starting to see if this AI stuff actually works. Your hands are in my hair, yeah, I like it. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. You know I love the look in your eyes when we're lying. That's a solid vocal recording. Literally nothing's on there. We got the studio rack, but there's no plugins on here. But it seems just kind of dry. We need to add some flavor. <laughs> yeah, boy. We're gonna do that through potentially studio verse today, according to their website. The way that we've got everything set up is I have all of my vocals here routed to one central vocal bus, and then I have the studio rack plug-in on the vocal bus. Very basic terms, the way the studio rack works is it's one plug-in that you can throw on your chain and it operates kind of like a rack you know you can throw in you know your favorite plugins here super effective but this video is about ai and mixing we'll kind of show you a little bit you know about the macros and stuff like that as we pull up some of these presets and let's see if studio verse can take me from very skeptical to a believer in AI and mixing. Up here, you'll see a search by audio. So basically what we'll do is we will play this track. Obviously it's just the lead vocal that we've got here. Then after we're playing it, whenever we click here, Studio Verse is gonna pick up exactly what is playing. And it's gonna give us a few different presets so we can drag and drop and uh, you know, see if we can add a little flavor. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. No, I love the look in your eyes when we're locked. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. So as you can see, we've got a decent amount of presets that have already popped up and it's seeing that it is a male vocal, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So we've got basic mono vocal. We're just gonna kind of go through and select a few of these cause I don't really have high hopes that the first one that I select is gonna be money. Tallahassee soul singer, melodic rap vocal. Hey, shout out to my guy Prizzy, a partner here at my audio academy. Crazy course that's out right now, by the way, on our website. Let's go with, let's go with a Prizzy vocal. We're going to expose this AI. So you click it, it pulls up, and basically what we have is, I like to use this all setting so I can see exactly what the plugins are. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's pretty basic. Let's see what we got. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. You know I love the look in your eyes when we're live. I'm not super angry about that. I think we need a little bit more vibe. Let's see if something else comes up. Ready or not, imagine all the vocal shine, dark wide backgrounds. We'll make it come back to that. Halo vocal. Let's see if we can get like some, some stuff. Oh, this got some stuff in it, it looks like. Let's see what this does. Made me slip out of gear, baby. All right, I don't know about that. I'm still, I'm still skeptical. I'm still skeptical. I know AI isn't supposed to be one click, bam, bam, but we kind of went backwards. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to stay in the game here. I'm going to stay in the game. Let's see. Let's see. Trippy tune trap vocal. I think I'm going to try that. Trippy sparks my creative brain. Baby, slip out and give it real get out of You know I love the look. You know. Hey guys, welcome back. We are back in the Pro Tools after the Pro Tools crashing. All right, so up to this point, the first one we could have worked with if, you know, if we threw some reverb on there, which I'm, I'm cool with. The second one, it took away a lot of the life of the vocal. I think that was gonna take a decent amount of work. The third one, I wasn't expecting that, I guess. Let's give it one more shot. Right now, like I can see the benefits of it. I can see how you can kind of get in the ballpark a little bit faster, maybe. I can see how, you know, if you're running out of ideas, how you could potentially put, you know, pull up a preset and it could kind of spark some of the creative juices. So since the best preset that I've been able to find so far has been my guy Prizzy, he's got a preset. It's the Vocal Bus Water preset. One last try. And let's see if I can move up the skeptic scale. Let's see. Slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited You know I love the look in your eyes when we're locked Make me slip out of Okay, it, it took me four tries, it took me four tries But to me, to me, that is, that's a vibe That is a vibe, seriously, before Make 
Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited You know I love the look in your eyes when we're live Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited You know I love the I'm moving up. I'm moving up the skeptic scale because that is pretty sick. One of the things that I do like about this is some of these macros here, I may could dial back on some of the reverb, which I would imagine the, the distance. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. You know I love the look in your eyes when we're live. Make me slip out of gear, baby, you get me excited. If I wanted to make an adjustment, the cool thing here, just something quick, if some of the low end was a little bit too heavy, because I don't think there's really any EQ on here. So like what I could do is I could pull down some of these things and we could go our EQ and say like some of the low ends just a little bit too much. We could, you know, kind of do this high pass filter. Let's say maybe we'll do like a low shelf, maybe about 500 hertz, 550. I don't think that AI is going to take our jobs, but I think it's going to make our jobs a little bit easier. After seeing the way that this works, and I can only imagine from what I understand about AI is the more that you use it, the better that it gets. I would imagine that the studio verse would continue to get better. I think it's only been launched for maybe about a month by the time that I'm filming the video. This is pretty solid. I think this is legit. A couple clicks, adding some basic mixing knowledge, you know, which we could help if you're not subscribe to the channel. You may want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's pretty crazy. Shout out to Prizzy for this incredible preset. If you want to give it a shot, we're going to go ahead and link this vocal bus water preset down in the description as well. Now, another thing that I want to do before we close out the video, I want to see if this could potentially work on some background vocals. We're just going to make a duplicate bus. We're going to go background uh, vocal bus. Let's see what the AI tool does here with the background vocals. I can see some background vocals popping up. So it definitely, it's like, it's not snake oil. It's picking up, you know, background vocals. So since we're in the Prizzy fanboy club right now, let's maybe see what we could do, what these sound like. Preset, haven't touched it. I'll tell you all the time. I know we got options tonight. Pretty cool. For the sake of having some fun. That's what we're doing, right? We're on YouTube to have some fun. Who cares about learning? Let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna pull these background vocals down just a touch and let's see if they mesh well together. I'm moving up the skeptic skill. I'm pretty impressed. I think like one of the coolest things was like, hey, like I literally played some background vocals. It literally analyzed it and gave me an, a legit preset that we could use. Just like maybe something that I would add here, you know, maybe we could widen it out a little bit. We could maybe do a doubler. Let's maybe pull these down. I'm a believer, man. Literally preset, add like just your flavor to it on top. <laughs> yeah, boy. And you are right there in the ballpark of a legitimate sound. But what I'm seeing right now is leveraging Wave Studio Verse AI tool. It's basically going to work kind of like your mix assistant. It gets you in the ballpark with a couple clicks and you can kind of add your knowledge on top of it and really get a solid sound a lot faster. <laughs> so my final conclusion, you're probably going to have to skim through a couple presets like we had to do in this video, but I'm pretty confident that you're going to be able to find at least one as long as your recording is solid. A couple clicks, find a cool preset, make some mild adjustments, and and I'm a fan. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on this AI trend within audio engineering and in the music industry in general? I would love to get your thoughts down in the comments. So leaving this video, one, go try Studioverse. Really, really cool, innovative way to mixing. 
Number two, subscribe to the channel. You know this video was solid. And number three, if you're an audio engineer and you wanna take your audio engineer career serious and you want a community of like-minded people, hit our free My Audio Academy Discord community down in the description. You'll be able to join within a couple clicks. Shout out to Waves for taking me from a skeptic to a, I'm a believer. We'll catch you guys soon. Peace.